Here's one of our ringtails that we've been seeing frequently. We're having a really good ringtail year this year here in 2022 uh, and that we're seeing a lot of them really, I don't know, three or four times as many as we would usually see. I don't know if this is a male or a female, and I think it's the same individual throughout this little two-minute video, but I'm not positive of that, but it seems to act the same and, and look the same. It's in the same location and, and whatnot. One of the interesting things about this little one is his tail curl that he's doing. It, it's not particularly cold out uh, during this time that he's being, or he or she are being uh, filmed. And, you know, we see squirrels that will curl their tail onto their back like that when they're cold. And yet this little one seems to be doing the tail curl as sort of a, just a, j just general posturing uh, that they that they do. It looks a little bit <laughs> like uh, a scorpion or or uh, or a yoga scorpion pose, and yet it's it's different than humans would do it. But I have to admit that I'm kind of fascinated with their tails. Uh, they're these giant, long, big, bushy things when they fluff them up and they do the curl around thing just <laughs> whenever they feel like it and this one really has a great tail on the bottom their stripes uh, don't go all the way around uh, it's it's uh, sort of an interesting deal that the stripe is mainly on the top uh, and you get a little bit of view there of the of the whiteness uh, on the bottom of it you know scientifically speaking i think that they're part of the raccoon family and i would assume that that's in large part you know, connected to that uh, striped tail, and yet the rest of them has, frankly, no resemblance whatsoever to a raccoon in my mind. Uh, you know, they're little weaselly uh, looking guys that don't really look like a raccoon. But for these little guys, you gotta love that curly tail because uh, they just lay it up there and looks great.